Alright, here's the fuel injected lawnmower engine. Just go through this bit here on the computer. We've got the data that comes out of the uh, engine controller can't really see it in the in the uh, video here but got RPM and mass airflow uh, fuel injection pulse and positioning information for both the fuel and the uh, duration of fuel position where the fuel is squirted and so forth it's coming out the serial port got my scope connected up to the injector pulse so we can watch it this is the control board or boards. <laughs> Let's start on the upper uh, upper left. We have the uh, ignition control module. It is uh, driving a standard uh, GM coil. It's a saturate uh, driver. It pr produces the uh, puts power into the coil until it hits three and a half amps. When it hits that point, it fires. So the, the uh, control, engine controller needs to compensate for the uh, basically what amounts to dwell time. Uh, eventually, it'll be going to capacitive discharge, where the spark is pretty much instantaneous. So I uh, can right change the software to adapt to either one. Uh, the next one over here, this one is the uh, fuel injector driver. It's the same one as last time. Next board is the position sensor from the engine so it uh, using the uh, basically the cooling fan you know, on the flywheel they sense each each tooth there's 24 teeth per revolution one of the teeth I've uh, modified so that it's unique and the position sensor then can produce a pulse once per revolution which is the reference pulse for the controller to time everything off of. The next board over here is driving the fuel pump which is just simply a saturated MOSFET switch. It can also be driven uh, pulse width modulated for if I decide to go to a non uh, flow through fuel injection system. And then down here is a is a Rabbit 3000 development board which is what I've used as my platform not the ideal processor, but it's what I had around, and it, it has enough uh, hardware support to run the engine. On the engine, uh, like I mentioned, the uh, tooth sensor is right mounted right here. Internally, I have my mass airflow connected up today. I'm actually running the controller based on mass flow today. Uh, the fuel injector is right there with the two blue and white wires coming out of it and then the ignition coils down here and that's about it I mean everything else we've looked at before also have my my wideband oxygen sensor connected up to the uh, can like muffler on there so we'll, uh, let's reset the processor I'll go through the steps So three seconds after reset, it runs the fuel pump to pressurize the system. Here you can see it's up to, looks like around 40 PSI. Fuel pump is right here, fuel uh, filter, and, the, and then you have the regulator right here running back up to the, to the gas tank. So after reset, the controller then sets the uh, pulse width for the injector to be very large to enrich the mixture for start. So once I pull the cord below 900 RPM I enrich the fuel. Once it gets above 900 it goes to mass flow. So let's, uh, let's try to give it a shot here. Move the throttle a little bit open. 